Hello and welcome back to Avocet Math for uh, part two of our multi-part series on the linear two-variable Daphantine equation. So we're on to step one in our example equation where we've basically taken the original Daphantine equation and made the constant term on the right side of the equation zero. So we've essentially formed the equation uh, 3x hat plus 7y hat now equal to zero. And our goal here is to characterize the infinite solution set for this simplified equation. And it's pretty obvious why we've done this now, uh, because essentially this is a much simpler equation to deal with than the original equation. And so this equation lends itself quite easily to methods where we can pretty quickly characterize the infinite solution set that we, that we seek here. And uh, the way we proceed is, is pretty obvious probably at this point. We'll take the 3x hat and bring it over to the other side. And now, of course, we can use our, our favorite theorem, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, to try to match up the uh, integer factors on the left and the right side of this equation. And if you stare at this equation, you can quickly come to the conclusion that the, uh, the y term on the left has to somehow pick up a uh, factor of 3 on the right, and the x uh, hat term on the left has to somehow pick up a factor of 7 to satisfy the uh, uh, integer factor of 7 on the left. And we uh, see that the only way that this can happen is if, in fact, the x hat can be written as a uh, integer multiple uh, of 7, and the y hat, in turn, can be written as a uh, negative integer multiple of 3, in, in case the same multiple n uh, appearing in, in both equations. Um, so with that realization, we can then uh, take this equation, combine it with this equation, and basically uh, substitute into the original equation and discover, uh, which is probably not too big a surprise, that 21n minus 21n in fact does equal 0. And although this is a somewhat trivial equation, it kind of gives us some important insights. And it basically tells us uh, the behavior of the 3x term and the 3y term in forming this solution set. And we quickly realize that essentially these two uh, uh, sums uh, groupings will basically counterbalance each other always to sum to 0. So in the case where n is equal to 0, these two terms simply add 0 to 0 to give 0. And when this term increases with the increasing n, we can form a positive 21 and then a negative 21, which again adds to 0. And likewise for 42, minus 42 equals 0. And we can go in the reverse direction. We can make n equal to minus 1. But now this side basically will form the opposite, positive 21 which again sums to 0. And continuing one more step, we can see minus 42 plus 42 again adds to 0. And this is an important uh, observation because it basically tells you the very nature of this infinite solution set that we seek. The, the properties of this infinity ser simply come from the fact that these two terms can offset when we are dealing with uh, the set of all integers, positive and negative. And they can offset in an infinite variety. Uh, this term, the left term, can basically go positive up to an infinity. And likewise, the second term can go negative to a negative infinity in such a way that they always offset to 0. And likewise, uh, in the reverse direction for each of those signs. So essentially, in general, uh, what we find is that for the infinite solution set, which is part of this linear two-variable uh, Diophantine equation, will always have the nature of the solution set to include terms which go positive by the least common multiple of, in this case, 3 and 7, that is counteracted by the opposite sign multiple of the least common multiple of 3, 7, which then always adds to 0. And this will come up time and time again, and it's something we really need to uh, kind of internalize and, and make sure that we understand thoroughly. So uh, in our next lecture, we'll basically uh, deal with the specific solution. We'll add this solution to it, 
and wrap up the, uh, the full solution set to our Diophantine equation. So uh, join us then.